<laughs> that wasn't much of a test. Once <laughs> every time, Greg. You know what the Marble Men really died of? Too much sex. Yeah, really. Yeah, you yeah. still you look cool. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. People die. Don't die of lung cancer. They die of lung yeah, sex. Yeah, they die of having fun. Yeah. Look at wow. the the chill is just looking at me like she Am wants. Am I the only non-smoker on the panel? No, I don't smoke. Let me sex. just say, it says in there that you're supposed to avoid smoke any way you can, which means I have to not go in or out of any building yeah. ever <laughs> because I walk through a cloud of smoke. Or, so thank you, people outside. Or if buildings. you live in Los Angeles like yeah. I did, and I can't look at the panel, but anyway, the Kingsley <laughs> does. You would know that, you would know that, you get, it's the going outside like two and a half packs of cigarettes a day. Yeah, that's true. I don't hear them doing anything about stopping that, right? No, so no, no. We said, no, but one puff of, one cigarette and you're gone. I mean, with the, boy, I'll tell you what. Look, this I, is, yeah, I mean. We'd I, all be dead, and you know, it's just unbelievable, it's, this it, craziness. It's, it's crazy. I mean, we all know, look at Jill, I know you're mad at me. Uh, oh, smoking yeah, is bad. Oh, wrinkles. Smoking is bad. We get it. We get it. But has, haven't scientists learned that exaggerating data does not work, whether it was global warming or pesticides or uh, ice age? When you make up crap, people don't buy it. Yeah, they get irritated with you and they yes. say, I'll show yes. them. That's what I say whenever yeah. they come down on French fries. Yeah. I'm going to prove them wrong. Yes, and I just are. keep on packing them the French fries. Kinsey, I know you hate smokers, but even you must admit this is a bit insane, correct? I do think it's insane. <laughs> and I might hate smokers, but I sure like to make out with them. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Whoa. <laughs> That's another <laughs> residual <laughs> effect. It's yeah. great breath. It is. It's, it's particularly menthol. Yeah, it's minty. Right. Phil, it reminds yeah. you of dad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> pipe. Pipe. That's not a euphemism. Yeah. You're just smoking yeah. pipe. Yeah, he smoked the pipe. It's too late now, guys. Yeah, it is all too late. It is too late. late. It's all about grant money. Is it's it all really? It's about get this money. You know, and terrify everyone to the point that nobody believes any of this. Yeah, no one, believe, yeah, no one believes it. One first, of all, first of all, every kid in America, having heard this, is immediately like those kids in that in the, in yeah. the thing. Oh, you know, I have a cigarette, but that makes me sexy. I'm dangerous. I live on the I yeah. live on the edge. Yeah, just like you know, Bill. Right, but you know, also, so. the, also the big red light here is someone with already that already has coronary damage. Well, okay, maybe one cigarette, and you do die if you have coronary yeah. damage. You walk across the street, you die because of coronary damage. You sit and stare at your computer, and you die because of coronary. You can yeah. apply it to no. anything. You take a knife yes. that you call coronary damage, and you put it in your eye, you die. <laughs> Don't do that to me, by the way. I won't do that to you. All right, coming up. Billy Crystal is dead. Tired of those banking fees, aren't we all? But first, should you get Christmas gifts for your pets? And by pets, do you mean houseboys? I give them some every year, but they're called welts. So Tom Krattenmaker just wrote a piece for USA Today on Portland, Oregon being targeted by a Muslim terrorist. The gist? How could he bomb Portland? We're just a quirky place everyone loves, or at least doesn't take seriously. After the cliched warning to not rush to judgment, Tommy says, and I quote, why would Portland of all places be the site of a terror attack? The People's Republic of Portland, so dubbed for its liberal ways, seems so utterly different from New York, Mumbai, London, or the other places that one associates with terrorist attacks. This is a laid back city where the red hot rhetoric around terrorism, Islam, and the Ground Zero Mosque and the like run runs cooler. So, because Portland's a left-wing haven with homemade flyers for guitar lessons stapled on every wall, terrorists should skip us and focus only on the big boring cities without all those great organic cafes. Heck, they probably don't use cloth bags or eat Chomsky, stuff jihadists really care about. And since Portlanders find red meat topics like terrorism so unseemly, our enemies should totally dig us. We love Bill Moyers, and we probably love to dance. <laughs> Dear goodness. Yeah. Anyhow, it's dumb. It's dumb to think your behavior, your behavior is at the root of other people's actions. And that if you're nice, terrorists won't kill you. These jacknuts don't get that no matter how liberal you are, you represent everything terrorists hate. Your clogs don't help. Trust me, terrorists have more respect for the red hot rhetoric of Dick Cheney than a navel gazing goof like Tom. And closing your eyes to Islamic jihad in favor of contemplating the dent in your consciousness is why the terrorists may come for you first. Because you're annoying. And if you disagree with me, you're worse than Hitler. <gasps> ah! Still going, still going. <laughs> still <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Really impressive. I know. Okay. Uh, here, I want to make one point. Portland, Oregon, they are not the People's Republic of Portland. That was Berkeley. Berkeley, that, and that guy stole that. That's plagiarism. That's thievery. That was originally for Berkeley. It wasn't for Portland, and that he's lying. Ah, yes. Let's, and let's remember, Berkeley is voting tomorrow to honor the WikiLeaks guy. Oh. guy Bradford Manning. The, the hero, man, Mr. Corporal Bradley Manning, Manning. Bradley Manning, the private first class who yeah. probably should be shot. But anyway, mm -hmm. he is, they're going to honor him. What they don't understand in Berkeley, mm -hmm. in San Francisco, in Portland, Mm -hmm. And the places says they're going to go first. Yeah. If the jihadist extremists win, they will kill them first because what do they believe? Uh, they won't go after the Christian right first because at least they're people who believe in the book. Yeah. These are people who don't believe in God, who believe in total secularism, who believe in gay marriage. Mm -hmm. They're going to line them up and kill yeah, them all first. Yeah, exactly, exactly. This if you have, they have gay so politicians, they're going to kill the gay why politicians. why they want to blow them up? Yeah. Yeah, that. Kinsey, you. aren't laid-back people just intellectually lazy and cowardly? Oh, my goodness. Well, let's see who else I can offend this evening, yes. aside from the smokers. No, smokers um, love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you made it. Make out made it. I can't look that includes she female smokers. 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 Yeah. Please tell me you don't make out with laid-back people. No way. Yeah, That's way too boring. I like people that are doing cartwheels and, you know, grocery shopping in their underwear. Oh, that's um, nice. But, no, with... Uh, Portland, I, th I thought that that was a, a crummy thing, and I agreed with absolutely everything you said, as I tend to do. That's a good answer. Uh, Jill, doesn't he seem kind of disappointed, or his feelings were hurt, that he was there... Their city yeah, was targeted. And, and I can kind of understand that part. Being a small town girl myself, I can understand being like, terrorists wouldn't come after us. What yeah. have we done to offend anyone? Yeah. I mean, I grew up in the kind of town where you never locked your doors unless you saw someone like Bill walking yeah, down the street and you would run and do yeah. that. So I kind of get it. Why? But Bill's, you know, the only people that locked their doors were Bill's parents when he was out. Yeah. <laughs> they kept trying to pawn me off the neighbors. Yeah, oh. exactly. It was sad. sad. You really are a terrorist. The neighbors, Greg oh. and Scott. They made, they raised me right, though, Greg. Yeah, that they did. <laughs> hey, I want to mention one thing. Sheep to the slaughter. This, the one thing I hated, too, about this article in USA Today, uh, his first, this is a line, his first thought, like mine, Portland, really? I hate this well, whole reeling thing. The best thing. part about was it was also on a Facebook. He, yeah. he was quoting a fa somebody's Facebook yeah. status. But, but I'm t so tired of people ending statements with, really? You know what really, I mean? Greg? Really, Greg? Yes, I hate really? that. Really? Really? I hate really? it. Really? It's like you don't, like, Wait, you have you're wasting our viewers' valuable time on this? Really? <laughs> yes. Really? Just saying. Uh, just, just saying. Uh, at the yeah. end of the day. At, at the end of the day, day, you suck. Yeah. All right. Hey, do you have a comment on the show? Email us. It's redeye at foxnews.com. And to leave a voicemail, my direct line. 212-462-5050. Still to come, the halftime report from TV's Andy Levy. Really? Really? Andy? 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 Really? Tonight's halftime report is sponsored by Jaguars, the third largest predatory cat after the tiger and the lion, and one of the few felines that enjoy swimming. Thanks, Jaguars. Welcome back. Let's find out if we've got anything wrong so far. For that, we'll go to TV's Andy Levy. So, Andy, how's it hanging? Really, Greg? How's it hanging? <laughs> really? Yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> At the end of the day, I got nothing. Yeah. Sucks to be you two. <laughs> you know what, Greg? It is what it is. Yeah. 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 Uh, Greg Alog, hummus under fire. Mm. Uh, Greg, it's Sabra, not Sabra. Who? You know, if you didn't correct that, nobody would have known. Everyone would have known that. Sabra is the Hebrew word for a Jewish person who was born in Israel. Yeah. Well, there you go. So, like I said, everyone would have known that. Yeah. <laughs> well, the media would have known. The media. Yeah, would have everyone, known. In the, everyone in the media in Hollywood. Yes. Would have would have known instantly. The people controlling everything we do. Exactly. Yep. Mm. If uh, I disappear oh. tonight, you know what happened. Yep. <laughs> I feel like a bunch of the people in that video would probably be stoned to death in a bunch of Arab countries. Perhaps. Yeah. Well, a lot of, were a lot of them Jewish. I think. It's, well, some of them were Jewish, as we discovered earlier today. Yes. The, the head of the organization is uh, the Palestinian whatever organization is himself Jewish. Mm. Yeah. Could you say self-hating loud enough? Self-hating. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> that was good. Very good. He's learning. I also, by the way, feel like a bunch of the women in that video were more into chicks than chickpeas. Uh, oh. no. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, not, not at all. Just saying, Greg. Just I, saying. I envision, I envision chickpeas. Yeah. Uh, no, it's Kinsey, world peas. Kinsey, you said you thought it was great that these students were so passionate about the subject instead of just like their Xboxes or whatever. It really isn't. Everyone would, would be much better if these kids would just stick to their Donkey Kong and their asteroids and whatever else it is the kids are playing these days. <laughs> I like your style. I'm a Tetris Thank fan you. myself. Are you? Mm -hmm. It's a good game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, UK students protest tuition hike. Greg, you said the protests got so bad, protesters attacked a car carrying Prince Charles and a horse. Yes. Shame on you, Greg. You didn't, see the, you didn't see the horse <laughs> behind Camilla? It was carrying Camilla and a donkey. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. I apologize. Uh, also, though, you're absolutely right. You raise a generation to believe that they have the right to things like education and health care. This is what you get. Yep. So <laughs> I blame the adults as much as the students, particularly people like Pacadell, quite frankly. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, that was yeah. just came oh, out I took, a, sh that, I took a shot. A oh, I took a shot. That's a low shot. I took a shot. You did. Pat, you have spent was 70, 82, 92, uh, 30 years preaching your left-wing lunacy to the American people with your acid and your amnesty, and this is <laughs> the result. Abortion, let's not forget. And I know, I was trying to be polite man, and leave that out, story, but uh, I know. Right. But, I, you know, this is, this is all the fruits of your labor, so, you know, congratulations. Thank wow. you very much. This is the most outraged I've ever that, seen, Andy. Well, I'm trying to contribute everywhere I can. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> what did you do to him? Yeah. Pat, all you, really, I promise you, really, all you had to do was stare him, him straight in the eye and just give him a big old, really? Yeah. Really, <laughs> Andy? He can't, though, because he, he, know, he knows I'm right. <laughs> uh, Kinsey, props to you for admitting that you photoshopped your college diploma. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, no. Jill, Jill, if you loved college so much, why'd you graduate in three and a half years? Uh, biggest mistake of my life, yeah. Andy. Right. Biggest mistake. But that wasn't Kids, a, stay in school. That wasn't a real college go. anyway. Troy State? <laughs> that sounds like the name of a character in Happy Days. Speaking I think that's, of, a, that's actually a porn star. <laughs> yeah, Speaking of Troy yeah. State, uh, the only protest I went to in college was a protest, please don't change the name from Troy State to Troy University. I lost. Oh. But I still oh. refer to it as Troy State out of spite. You know what, Bill? You were beating Stay up. strong. Stay strong, sister. Troy State. Troy is a state of mind. Uh, by the way, talking uh, lots uh, of drugs. I, <laughs> apparently, they're going to raise the maximum tuition from 3,000 pounds a year to 9,000 pounds a year, but it doesn't say pounds of what? Mm. I, man, 15 pounds was a lot. My you know what it is? It's, it's pounds it's, of pork scratching. It's the, fresh, scratching it's, the fre yeah. it's the freshman 6,000. Yes. yes. That's yeah. how much they're Thank raising. Thank you, Andy. It. Yeah. It's still... Uh, affordable by comparison uh, to anything in the United States. Am I correct, Andy Ombudsman? Uh, yeah, vaguely. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have time to it's look that affordable. one up. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. What, what is it, like $14,000 a year or something? Yeah, yeah. something. Yeah, yeah uh, 36000 at my yeah. former alma mater. Yeah, yeah. see? Uh, Surgeon General says cigarettes suck. So when you smoke a cigarette, quote, more than 7,000 chemicals in each puff rapidly thread, spread through the body. Is this not the most amazing invention in the history of mankind? <laughs> <laughs> This is like better. NASA needs to study this stuff. And it's spread you know, around. You're right. This like, is amazing. Yeah, it's like you, it's the best. It could it could trans, it could send so many drugs through your system. This, right. It, it's like fantastic. This is the problem because they don't study what nicotine. About marijuana. I'm what, what my wonderful <laughs> stuff that goes through that smoke. <laughs> We you know, need to study it. You do realize we're on TV right I'm now. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> just, what about marijuana? The show's not over, Pat. I told you I'd give you a bag when the show was over. My payoff. Uh, yes. My the, payoff. But you know what? This is an interesting point because the fact is it's, it's a great delivery agent for, mm. for medications, and they could study it for Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, but they don't get the money for it. 7,000 chemicals, Greg. Seven, that, yes. Like that in your system. It's amazing. Yes. God bless America. It is. It's like the Postal Service, but effective. Uh, but it works, yeah, exactly. Uh, also, the Surgeon General, Regina Benjamin, which is her real name, Greg, uh, she says that, quote, one cigarette or exposure to secondhand smoke may cause a heart attack. In that case, shouldn't the Secret, Secret Service tackle every cigarette that Obama tries to light up? Very hey, good point. Every one of those cigarettes point. is a potential assassin. That is true. Uh, no uh, follow-up uh, joke for that one. Yeah. Uh, Someone uh, him a cigarette, that's it. Yeah. Greg Alog, uh, Portland guy can't understand why terrorists would attack his cool city. This op-ed was so bad, even Frank Ridge said, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, was actually a Frank Ridge op-ed. One it was, word, it was just dude. dude. Yeah. He was mailing it in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and lastly, Greg, the People's Republic of Portland is what people do call the city. He's not lying. You're, yeah, you're, you're right that it started in Berkeley, I think, but he's not lying. That's also a name for Portland. Oh, yeah, Portland but they, Portland. it was because people from Berkeley moved up to Portland yeah. and now wanted to think that they were living in the cool... I am hip. so not interested in your root causes, Greg. <laughs> Portland is so not edgy like yeah. Berkeley. Portland is about as edgy as a handball. Yeah, that's <laughs> true, yeah. It's about as edgy as hacky sack is, like, 30 years after people were started playing Yeah, it's like it's like... Golf frisbee yeah. with your brother-in-law Vic, who's you know in IT. That's how edgy it is. Look, you leave Vic out of this, and he happens to be excellent golf. Vic frisbee. owes me for a half a gram. Dude, me and, me and Vic ruled. It. Me and Vic ruled at foosball. That is true. Yep. Foosball is coming back. In many ways, it never left. Right? That is true. Yeah. I gotta go. Why don't you go then? Well, why don't you know what? I'm going. Go. It's not like I'm holding you back here. Oh, look. He just, oh. Yeah.